ever pondered the mysteries of a colloidal cyst. This rare but serious condition affects the bile ducts in the liver, and today we're diving into the details. Imagine a cystic dilatation or abnormal enlargement in the bile ducts. These ducts work hard, carrying bile from the liver to the gallbladder and then the small intestine, all to aid in digestion. This abnormal enlargement is precisely what we call a colloidal cyst. The world of colloidal cysts is diverse, with several types classified based on location and shape. Picture a common bile duct expanding like a balloon. That's a type 1 or fusiform cyst. Now imagine a pouch-like structure sprouting from this duct. That's the hallmark of type 2, a cystic dilatation of the CBD. Type 3, or colidococeli, involves an enlargement of the intraduodenal portion of the common bile duct. Type 4 presents multiple dilatations in both intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts. Lastly, type 5, also known as Corollius disease, a rare type, involves segmental dilatation of intrahepatic ducts. The exact origin of colloidal cysts remains shrouded in mystery. However, it's generally accepted that these cysts are a result of a congenital abnormality occurring during fetal development. Genetics may also be a partner in crime. Symptoms of these cysts can be as diverse as their types and can vary based on severity. They might include abdominal pain, particularly in the right upper quadrant, jaundice, nausea, vomiting, and fever. Infants might present an enlarged liver or a palpable mass in the abdomen. Pale colored stools and dark urine can also indicate a problem with bile flow. Without intervention, colidocol cysts could lead to a host of complications. These could range from cholangitis, biliary stones, pancreatitis, to liver damage or cirrhosis, and an increased risk of bile duct cancer. Diagnosis is a detective's work, combining a review of medical history, physical examination, and imaging tests like ultrasound, Connecticut scan, or MRI. Sometimes, endoscopic procedures like ERCP come in handy. When it comes to treatment, surgical removal of the cyst is the preferred route. This not only prevents complications, but also reduces the risk of cancer. The type of surgery depends on the type and extent of the cyst. Post-surgery, lifelong follow-up care is usually necessary to monitor for any recurrence or complications. So, there you have it. A colidocal cyst is a structural abnormality of the bile ducts that calls for medical attention and often surgical intervention to prevent serious complications. Remember, early diagnosis and appropriate management are your ticket to a good prognosis.